Hello, what's up YouTube? Brony Sweet and a tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can easily process or color grade your raw files in Photoshop. So basically, in Photoshop, you're just going to be working with the camera filter. And I know most of you guys really fear to shoot in raw because you don't know how to get the colors right from the raw photos and you prefer to edit or retouch JPEG files. Usually there is that kind of limitation when it comes to editing JPEG files because you tend to lose out on the nice and valuable colors and information that is embedded in your photos in your photos rather. So if at all you always want to shoot raw but you don't know how to color grade your raw files or how to edit your raw files, this is a tutorial for you. So before you do any color grading, you have to make sure or ensure that your computer or laptop is showing colors that are almost accurate or accurate colors because you can't process or color grade any kind of file or video if at all your computer is showing you some kind of false or inaccurate colors so the very first step to color grading is making sure that you have a monitor or a display that is going to be showing you accurate colors so when you note that that is okay for you or if at all you calibrated your monitor and maybe you're used to your computer and you know the colors right, you can then proceed and watch this tutorial. So let me just give you guys a moment to hit the like button on this very video so that you so that YouTube can push it to more people out there. And when you're done, let's just kick in and we start learning about the major emphasis for this tutorial. So this is the rough that I took a while back using a Canon 6D camera and I shot it using a one light setup. It was on his second birthday, you can see how nice it was looking. And I shot it at ISO 105 using a Tamron 70-200mm lens and I shot this at 134mm, f3.2 and the shutter speed was 1 out of 400 of a second. So usually you have to First of all, get the right colors because this is going to be the starting step to color grading your raw files. And in order to do that, we're just going to calibrate or get a profile that is going to match with the profile that we were shooting in at the back of the camera screen or in our cameras. So usually different cameras have different picture profiles or camera profiles. So I shoot on a Canon 6D camera and the picture profile I shoot in is landscape. So in the camera row filter or interface or maybe in Lightroom, we have the option which I indicate profile or you can look for something that is maybe like a camera like icon if at all you have other versions of a Lightroom or camera row. And when you click on it, you'll notice that you're going to get this option. And when you click down here where it says profile, you can start we have different picture profiles depending on the camera that you shoot in. So like I said, you have to know the picture profile in which you shoot your images. And personally, I shoot in Adobe Landscape. So when I click on Landscape, it is going to give me a starting point on this particular image. And you can notice that the image is now looking a little bit more vibrant. And we have a more popping kind of image right now so but this on the other hand has its limitations this looks a little bit oversaturated or it is over vibrant or it looks too much saturated so we're just going to work on that later on in this tutorial so usually since i shoot in raw i usually don't want to blow out the wipes or the highlights in the images so what I usually do is come to the highlights and simply knock that down. And you can see balloons right in the background have regained uh, back the information. You can see in the raw file they were a little bit white. And right now we have uh, the color back. And I do the same for my whites to get back uh, the detail in those blown out areas. And as we're doing this, the colors really get oversaturated, but don't mind about that. So I also come to the blacks and I simply uh, add contrast. So when I take the blacks down, you can notice that it adds 
contrast in the shadow areas of the image and when I take it up you can notice that it kind of washes out the image so depending on the look you're trying going for I always want my images to be all have that nice and rich contrast that's why I pull the blacks down so I don't take it all the way down because that is going to uh, provide lots of information especially in the shadow areas of your images so just add a little bit of that so I'm just going to leave it at 16 and since I want to get back the information in the shadow areas I'm simply going to open up my shadows just like that and don't take this all the way up because it is going to wash out the information and change every single color that is black into gray and you don't want uh, this little gentleman to have gray hair so don't take the shadows all the way up just open them up a little bit until you start looking or seeing the information in the shadow areas and that means that you are good to go and now we're just going to add some little bit of contrast into the image I prefer 5 and right now let's see the before and after for this image this is the before and the after before after so it is almost close to how we'll be looking at the image at the back of the cam camera screen or those that prefer to edit raw files but we have started color grading a raw file and it is close to what you would get if at all you're working with a JPEG file but the advantage right now is you get back the information in uh, most of these areas that were blown out in the image for example if at all you shoot maybe weddings and you have blown out the details in the gown you can recover them if at all you shoot in a row most of the times if at all you don't lose out completely on those details so after I've done the basic adjustments I'm just going to come to the exposure and I simply pump it up slightly just like that and let's see the before and after before after and after doing that I feel like the image has more reds and it is some kind of disadvantage if at all you shoot with Canon cameras because they tend to have a lot of magenta and in order to eliminate the magenta from the image I'm simply going to come to where it says tint I'm just going to move the slider towards the opposite of magenta which is the green side so I'm just going to eliminate that and like I said at the start of the tutorial you always have to make sure you are looking at the image on the right screen or a screen that is displaying the right colors for you because you don't want color grade and get a false image so just do that I'm just going to take it up up to around I think 4 is close to his skin tone and after doing that like I said uh, the image looks a little bit oversaturated and we're going to be dealing with that later on so I'm just, I'm just going to come and add a little bit of clarity to around 4 and since it looks a little bit over saturated I'm just going to come the vibrance and knock that down a little bit and do the same for the saturation and right now uh, this is how I was looking at the image at the back of my camera screen so remember landscape usually has uh, oversaturated colors that's why you have to come and check on uh, these options or reduce on the amount of those colors in your images so let's see the overall before and after for the processing of the raw file of this particular image so this was the image as the raw file and this is as after before after you can go ahead and play around with other colors in the image if at all you want to under the HSO panel and you can play around with these colors or maybe the hues and play around with it but if at all it is a clear a work for a client you don't have to mess out on these colors because uh, they are going to complain anyway because most of them tend to love the colors in the natural way possible so always make sure to remain within the natural form or the colors of the images and after you have been able to color grade your images the next thing is you want to work with enough detail after you have been able to process your raw files maybe in, in Lightroom or Camera Raw and right here where it says 
you can see Adobe RGB. Just double click on this option. And usually I prefer to work on 16-bit images because they tend to have more information. So depth, I usually change it to 16-bit. And I leave the rest the way they are. And I only check sharpen for screen. So I only love to sharpen for screen. So I check this option right here. And I leave it on screen and I hit OK. So when I open this image into Photoshop to do the skin retouching, it's going to automatically open up as a 16-bit image. So this is basically how you can easily color grade your images for those that shoot in RAW. And if at all you have found this really helpful, don't forget to like this, this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.